Hello everybody, welcome to the last Pilates class of the week. Um, I hope you've been enjoying all of the sessions and um, have a lovely weekend and enjoying the sun. Don't forget to drop me a comment underneath. Um, give it a like and share if you um, have anything else you want to ask me or for me to include in the classes. Um, let's get started. <clears throat> so we're going to start laying on our backs just to do our breathing. Knees bent, feet on the floor. We want to have that curved position under the lower back. So we're in neutral. Arms rest down beside you. We're going to be taking nice deep breaths in through the nose. Out through a pursed lip. Breathing in. And out. So as you're taking your nice deep breaths in and out, I want you to think about the position of your hips. So we're trying to keep them nice and level. Imagine you've got a torch on each hip bone and they're shining up parallel to one another onto the ceiling. We want those shoulders to be nice and relaxed, get them away from the ears and really open up through your chest. Try and keep the weight nice and evenly placed through those feet. So big toe, little toe and heel. And we're just going to gently tighten through the tummy. From here, as you breathe out, we're going to tuck the pelvis under. So you're flattening your lower back into the mat. We're taking a deep breath in to stay. Exhale to release out to neutral. So we tuck under to flatten. Holding there. Release out to neutral. As we're tucking under, we're trying to get that nice, strong, flat back position. So using your tummy muscles and your pelvis to move, try and avoid squeezing your bottom. Next time that back is nice and flat, we're going to stay there. To hold in this flat back, making sure there's no gap underneath it, we're going to start to tighten the pelvic floor. So as you breathe out, you're tightening all the way in your pelvic floor. Inhale to release. Exhale to tighten. Inhale to release. Tightening in. And release. So you're thinking of the sensation of stopping a wee mid flow. So as you're tightening, you should feel as though your tummy muscles are working harder and that your back is slightly flatter into the floor. We're going to half this contraction, so 50% tightening in the pelvic floor as you exhale. Inhale to release. We're pulling the tummy all the way down. And keeping the weight evenly placed through your feet. So big toe, little toe and heel. We're going to half one last time. So 20 to 25% tightening. So this is like a gentle lifting. 
something that you could sustain throughout any exercise if you needed to. It's just working in the background. So that flat back position should feel nice and strong. You're using your tummy muscles and your pelvic floor to help you to stay there. We're going to bring both feet off, the, off of the floor and the legs come into a tabletop position. As you breathe out, you're tapping one toe down towards the mat. Inhale to lift, swapping sides, tap down and lift. Tap down and lift. And lift. So we're keeping our flat back position tummy stays pulled down, use the pelvic floor. Nice deep breaths, keeping the shoulders away from the ears. We've got two more on each side. Last one each side, tap down and lift, tap down and lift. We hug those knees into the chest. From here we're going to be going on to our hands and knees. So taking your hands underneath the shoulders, knees underneath your hips, get your tummy already nice and tight into the earth. As you breathe out, you're tucking the pelvis under, curving the back. You're arching the spine all the way up and dropping the head. Holding there to take a deep breath in. As you exhale, the pelvis goes back out to your start position. The spine follows and your head is the last thing to lift. So we're going to tuck under to curve, arching the back, dropping the head. We hold, and then we're releasing out through the spine, piece by piece, lifting the head, tucking under to curve. Arching the back, dropping the head. We hold. Coming back to your start position through the spine. Lifting that head back up. So we want to get lots of movement through the back. We're working into each section of the spine piece by piece. If you do have any areas of your back that feel really stiff or sore, try and slow the movement down. You're taking your time to work into each vertebrae one by one. So as you're curving your back, you're pulling the tummy all the way in. So you come back to your start position, think shoulders are away from your ears. taking two more here, curving the back, arching the spine, dropping your head, holding there, 
releasing out through the spine piece by piece. Release into your start position. This is your last one. Tuck under to curve, arching the back, dropping the head. We hold, releasing out through the spine, piece by piece. Relaxing there, push your bottom back to your feet. Reach those arms forwards in your shell stretch position. From there, we're gonna come onto our sides. We're gonna work on that chest opening movement again. Get the knees bent, legs one on top of the other. Resting your head down, you can use a pillow or a towel or something, and arms are reaching long and away, palm to palm. We're lifting the top arm up so your fingertips point to the ceiling. Taking the head with you, we twist towards the opposite wall. Holding here, take a nice deep breath in. Then reach back up and over. Coming down palm to palm. We lift the top arm up, fingertips point to the ceiling. Take the head with you, twisting towards the opposite wall. Holding to take a stretch. Before lifting back up and over to come down palm to palm. So we want to keep our legs glued together, keeping them nice and grounded. This twist is coming through your waist. Taking nice deep breaths. So you shouldn't be holding your breath at any point. Keeping the arm nice and long. So it's reaching long and away from you. Stretching from the fingertips all the way into the armpit. And looking at that hand for as long as we can making sure that you're maintaining a good range of movement through your neck. We're going to do two more here. This is your last one, lift the arm up to the ceiling. Take the head with you, we twist. Holding there. Lifting back up and over. To come back down. We're gonna swap sides. So just change the way you're laying or roll over to face the opposite wall. Again, legs are glued together. Resting down on your mat, you can use your towel or cushion. Arms are nice and long, palms are together. Lifting that top arm up, fingertips point to the ceiling. Take the head with you, twisting to the opposite wall. We hold. Come back up and over. Coming down palm to palm. The top arm lifts, fingertips point to the ceiling. Take the head with you, twist to the opposite wall. Holding there, we stretch. Before lifting up and over. Coming back down palm to palm. Keeping the arm long, stretch from the fingertips all the way into your armpit. Nice deep breath. So we shouldn't be holding the breath at any point. Remember those legs are glued together and grounded. Get the twist through your waist. 
Let's take two more here, lifting up to the ceiling. Take the head with you, twisting away. We hold. Come back up and over. Down to your start position. This is your last one. We're lifting up. Taking the head with you, twist to the opposite wall where we hold. Lift back up and over. Coming down palm to palm. Then you're going to roll onto your back. Reach long through your arms and your legs so you're taking a full body stretch. Good, then bend the knees, place your feet on the floor. We want to be in neutral, so you've got a curve underneath your lower spine. Arms are resting down beside you. We take a deep breath in to nod the head, chin to chest. Exhale to lift the shoulders from the floor, reach the arms nice and long. Take a deep breath in to stay. Exhale to control back down. So chin to chest. Lifting the shoulders, we hold. Control back down. So it's your tummy muscles that are lifting you. Pull the belly button all the way down. We're using that chin to chest position to try and keep the neck nice and relaxed. So we want to think, big nod of the head, then we tighten the tummy. So you've got that reach of your arms, keeping the shoulders away from your ears. Nice deep breaths. Tighten the pelvic floor. Two more here, then we'll change the arms. Chin to chest. Lifting the shoulders away. We hold. Control back down. Last one here, chin to chest. Lifting the shoulders. We hold. Control back down. From here, we're gonna bring the arms across the chest. So each hand is on the opposite shoulder. Again, we breathe in to nod. Exhale to lift. We hold. Control back down. Chin to chest. Lifting the shoulders. We hold. Control back down. So you're still using your tummy muscles to lift you. Making sure you're using your chin to chest position. Keep that neck nice and relaxed. Just take a moment to think about where the shoulders are. They shouldn't be by your ears, they should be down and relaxed. Tighten your pelvic floor. Two more in this position, then we'll change the arms one last time. Off the head, lift the shoulders. We hold, control back down. Last one here, chin to chest, lifting the shoulders. We hold, control back down. Your hands are then coming one on top of the other, and you're placing them either onto your forehead. Or if your neck is sore, come behind your head. Just make sure that if you are coming behind the head, that you're on the head and not the neck. Again, the movement's the same. Breathe in to nod. Exhale to lift. Breathe in to hold. 
Exhale to control back down. Chin to chest. Lifting the shoulders we hold. Control back down. So you're still using the tummy muscles to lift you. We'll chin to chest position. So even if you're supporting your head, make sure you're getting that nod before you lift. Use your pelvic floor. Those elbows are nice and wide. Your chest is open. Shoulders are down. You've got two more here, chin to chest. Lifting the shoulders we hold. Control back down, last one, chin to chest. Lifting the shoulders we hold. Control back down. From here, just hug those knees into your chest. Your neck is sort of shake the head from side to side. So we're going to go on to our fronts next. If you need a drink, then grab one. Laying down with those legs nice and long. Hands are mat width apart and in line with your ears. You're looking down to the floor. Take a nice deep breath in to prepare. As you exhale, push the nose forwards, lift the head and the chest, the forearms stay down. Take a deep breath in to stay, exhale to control back down to the floor. Push the nose forwards to lift the head and the chest, we hold. Control back down. So we want to be working up the back of the legs and into the bottom. If at any point you feel those feet or the legs cramping up, we're just going to tuck the toes under like I'm doing here to help to lengthen the back of your legs. You want to pull the tummy all the way in. Your bottom and your tummy are working together to keep the back strong. The shoulders are down. The chest is nice and open. Two more in this position, then we'll change the arms, push the nose forwards, lift the head and the chest. We hold, control back down. Last one. Push the nose forwards to lift the head and the chest. We hold, control back down. From here, we're going to lift alternating arms as we come up. We have done this one before this week. So again, as you breathe out, push the nose forwards, lift your head and your chest, but one arm comes away with you. Take a deep breath in to stay. Exhale to control back down. Push the nose forwards, lift the head, the chest, the other arm. Holding there control back down. Just make sure that as you lift, you're staying really central. Don't lean over into the side. You're staying really central in that lift, controlling back down. Keep squeezing the bottom, pulling the tummy in. Long through that body, nice deep breath. We've got two more on each side. Push the nose forwards, lift your head, your chest and that arm. We hold, 
control back down. Push the nose forward, lift the head, the chest and the arm. We hold, control back down, last one on each side. Push that nose forwards, breathe. Lifting up, hold, control back down. Last time, pushing the nose forwards to lift the head up. Arm comes away, we hold, control back down. From here, push yourself back into that shell stretch. So your bottom goes to your feet. I'm going to reach those arms out in front. From there, we're going to go onto our backs to do the 100. Grab a drink if you need one. So as we're laying down, <coughs> We're going to tuck under, find that flat back. I'll talk you through and then we'll go all together. As we lift our legs up, we're going to try and lengthen them. It doesn't matter here if you keep a slight bend through your knee. I'd like you to lift into the longest position in the legs that you can maintain. So if that means you need a bend, then keep that there. I'd rather that you could sustain it. From here, if the neck is sore, leave your head down. If not, then we're going to nod the head, lift the shoulders away from the floor. Your palms are facing the ceiling while your arms are long. So while we're here, what we're going to be doing is pushing our arms upwards for 100 repetitions. And that's going to be five as you breathe in and five as you breathe out, which I will count. So it will look like this. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five, and so on. From there, both hands come behind your head, the head, not the neck. And we're going to take two sets of eight, sitting up from the floor. We then rest the head down, rest the arms down, and we're going to crisscross the legs. Again, for two sets of eight. So keeping them long. If your legs are quite bent by this point, it's the lower leg that will crisscross. Exactly the same movement. Once you finish your two sets of eight, we hug the knees in and we go into a full body stretch. I'll talk you through everything so you know what's going on. So let's find that strong flat back. Tuck under, lose that gap. As you lift the legs, get them as long as you possibly can. And we're gonna nod the head, lift the shoulders, arms are long and your palms are facing the ceiling. And we inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five, and inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five, Five, tummy in, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five, and inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five, pelvic floor, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five, halfway, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five, and inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five, tummy in, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five, two more, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five, last one, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five, from here, take the hands behind the head, what are sit-ups, come up for eight, seven, six, breathe, five, four, three, two, one, eight more, eight, seven, six, tummies in, five, four, three, two, one, relax the head and the arms down, the legs are going to crisscross for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, last set, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, one, relax there, hug those knees in first. Then we're going to take the legs and the arms up nice and long. Just give those legs a nice shake out if you can. And from there we're going to come up to sitting. So from here, we're going to take the knees bent feet on the floor, 
sitting up tall through the body. So we're going to do our leaning back and then we'll go into our stretching. So take those arms nice and long, shoulder height, really tall through the spine. Make sure that you're not curving or rounding to begin with. As you breathe out, you're then going to pull the tummy in to curve and round. Start to lean away from the legs. No further than halfway, you can keep it small. Holding here, take a deep breath in. As you breathe out, pull the tummy in, lift yourself up and over. Inhale, sit nice and tall through the spine, lifting those arms. We curve and lean away. Holding there, come up and over. Sitting tall through the spine, ready to go again. Curve and lean away, really work the tummy. Pulling in to hold you there, tighten more to lift you up and over. <clears throat> Restacking the spine to sit tall, get those shoulders down. Curve and lean away. Holding. Lifting up and over. Make sure you're sitting nice and tall before we start to curve again. Get tightened through the pelvic floor. Make sure you're not holding your breath. We're gonna take two more here. This is your last one. We're going to curve and lean away. Hold in there. Lift up and over. Restack the spine nice and tall. Relaxing there. Bring the legs crossed or as crossed as you're able to. It doesn't matter if that's quite a loose and open position. <clears throat> From here, the same stretch we've been doing all week, just to really lengthen through the back and stretch through the arms. So dropping that head down, you're going to walk your arms out as far as you can go. Drop your head and take some nice deep breaths in that. We're breathing in and out. Breathing in. And out. Really nice deep breath in. As you breathe out, just walk those hands further forwards. Breathing in and out. Breathing in. And out. Hold in here, breathe in. As you exhale, walk forwards. So here we're just taking some nice deep breaths and holding. And relax there. Bring yourself up and across the legs the other way. We need to make sure that we're not stiffening up on one side. Doesn't matter again if that's a loosened position. Exactly the same thing, just walk those hands forwards, drop your head. Deep breaths in and out, breathing in and out. Breathing in and out. Nice deep breath in. As you breathe out, walk those hands forwards. Breathing in and out. Breathing in and out. Deep breath in. 
three of those hands forwards. Just holding here for a few breaths. And we're just walking the hands in. Sitting up nice and tall. Bring the soles of those feet together. So your knees are nice and wide, hips are really open. Take hold of the feet and just drop yourself forwards. If you want to increase that stretch, remember we push the elbows into the legs. Then we're on our backs. Grab yourself a drink if you need one. Finding a flattened position. Tuck under, get a flat back. Bring your legs up into tabletop. Hands are then beside your knees. Nod the head, lift the shoulders. As you breathe out, one leg reaches along and away. The other leg stays bent. Inhale to the centre. Swapping side, reaching long and away. Come back to the centre. Reaching away. And centre. Reaching away. And centre. So in your chin to chest position, keep that neck nice and relaxed. If you're feeling really tense through the neck, you can drop your head down, looking to the ceiling, the movement's the same. Getting the leg nice and long as it travels away from you. Doesn't matter how high or low that leg moves, it can stay quite high here. But what we want is that length. Breathe. Shouldn't be holding your breath at any point. Your tummy is pulling down, you're tightening the pelvic floor, your back is nice and flat. We've got two more on each side. Last one on each side, reaching long and in. Reaching long and in, hug those knees in. The neck is sore, shake the head from side to side. Want to find that nice, strong, flat back position. Tucking under, no yaps. Lift those legs up into tabletop. Take your hands behind your head. Nod the head and lift the shoulders. The legs are going to stay exactly how they are right now in that tabletop position. So if you want to make that a bit challenging, just bring the legs slightly further away from your body. Keep that flat back. From here, you're going to take one hand away and reach across your body. So you almost feel like you're twisting yourself over slightly. So lean and reach. Back to the centre. Other side. Reach that arm long and away. And centre. Reach over. And centre. So you're sustaining that tabletop through the legs. Reaching the arm away. You're still supporting your head. And make sure that hand is behind your head, not behind your neck. Chin to chest. Keep the neck relaxed. Breathe. And centre. And centre. You might lose some of that flat back as you're twisting over in the side. So make sure that your tummy muscles and your pelvic floor are working really hard to find that flat back as you come into the centre. We've got two more on each side, reach over and in. Reach over and in. Last one on each side, reach over and in. Reach over and in. Relax, hug those knees down and just rock yourself from side to side. We're still in our flat back position. So remember to get tucked under, lose that gap. The legs are going to lift and lengthen here. So we've done this one all week, really working on lengthening down the back of those legs. Hands are beside your knees. If your neck is so leave your head down. If not, nod the head and lift your shoulders away. Don't worry if there's a bend in your knees, that doesn't matter. As you breathe out on a pulse, one leg lowers to the floor. Down, down, 
and lift. It doesn't touch, it's just hovering above. And lift. Down, down, and lift. As those legs move, you're thinking long, longer, lift. Long, longer, lift. Chin to chest position. You're keeping your neck nice and relaxed. You can drop your head down if you need to. Shoulders away from the ears. Nice deep breaths. Make sure the tummy is tightened. Pelvic floor is working, keeping that back nice and flat. Two more each side. Down, down and lift. Swap side. Down, down and lift. Last one each side. Down, down and lift. Down, down and lift. Relax there. Hug those knees in. Shake that head from side to side. So we've got one last exercise in our flat back position. Again, really nice and tucked under. You've lost that gap. We're going back to our long legs. Remember, you can keep the bend there if you need to through those knees. Hands are behind your head. Let the head lift your shoulders. Your legs are going to move exactly the same. So one leg is going to come down, down. As that happens, you're going to go twist, twist, back to the centre. Twist, twist, back to the centre. So you're twisting on the pulse at the same time that the leg does and center. So going long, long as you twist, twist. Long, long, twist, twist. Breathe, breathe, and center. And center. Tummy and pelvic floor are working hard. Chin to chest. And center. Two more each side. Down, down, and center. Down, down and centre. Last one each side. Down, down and centre. Down, down and centre. Hug those knees in. Take a long full body stretch. Give those legs a little shake out. We're coming on to our knees. Grab a drink if you need one. So we did this one for the first time yesterday. Doesn't matter if you didn't join in. So, kneeling up, tall. So we're not bottom to heels. You want to be quite tall. You can use something under your knees here if you need to. And what you're thinking you're doing is working the front of your thighs, your tummy and your bottom here. So we're gonna have the arms resting down beside us. Slightly nod the head in, just making sure that you're not gonna fling your head backwards. So think a little bit of that chin to chest position. And you're just going to lean slightly back on those legs and come back to the centre. What you don't want to do is hinge here. It's not hinging here. You're keeping the whole of the front of your body in line. You're hinging through your knees. That's the joint that's moving. Your hips, and your back stay in that same line. So you're really working the front of your legs. Squeeze your bottom, it will help tighten that tummy so you can keep your back supported. Leaning away. And up. Leaning away. And up. So don't make it too big. We don't want to fall backwards. It's just nice and controlled. Think shoulders away from the ears. If you did do this yesterday, you might be feeling a little bit sore in the front of the legs. I know I certainly am. Breathe. So don't hold your breath as you're moving. Let's take three more of these and we'll add some arms in. One more here, leaning back. Okay, just take the bottom to the to the feet, give those legs a little shake. 
coming back up. So here, again, slight knob with that head, you're gonna take a big roll of the shoulders that should bring your arms back behind you. Hopefully you can see that. Reaching your arms back, that's where you get that lean. You think you should be able to get a little bit further there. Push the arms forwards, that will help to bring you back up. So big roll of the shoulders back. Reach the arms away, push them forwards. Breathe, roll the shoulders. Reach, pushing them forwards. Pushing forwards, use your tummy, use your bottom. They should stay tightened and squeezed the whole time. We've got two more here. Big roll of the shoulders, reach, come back, push forwards. Last one. Roll the shoulders. Reaching back, push and relax. We're going to come back into a shell stretch that's a similar movement to what we'd usually do on our front. So bottom to the feet, reach those arms out in front of you. Grab yourself a drink if you need one. We're going to be on our hands and knees. So same as usual, we're going to bring the hands underneath the shoulders and the knees underneath your hips. We're going to tuck those toes under today. If you suffer from sore wrists, you can bring yourself down to your forearms. So it's going to be a few exercises in a row that will need this position, so you can rest them if you need to. If not, we're on long arms. As you breathe out, pull the tummy all the way in. Press into your hands and your feet to lift those knees away from the floor. Just an inch or so. Inhale down. Exhale to lift away. Inhale down. We're lifting up. And down. So you're thinking tummy is lifting you. Your hands and your feet are there for support. Making sure that your eyes are just past your fingertips towards the end of your mat if you're on long arms. And if you're on your forearms, you're just looking straight down to the floor. Just to make sure that you're not tilting up or dropping down with the head. Just going to add extra pressure into your neck. We've got four more of these. Lifting up and down. Lifting up and down. Last two. Lifting up and down. Lifting up and down. Relaxing there. Roll through the wrist. So we're going to go into our downward dog and I think it's a really good way to stretch the back of the legs and another nice one to lengthen through your spine. You can do this on your forearms if your wrists are sore. You just won't get as much height so you won't get as much of a stretch but you can be down here if you need to. If you're on long arms or forearms bring the arms just slightly in front, knees slightly behind with the toes tucked under. Don't take the legs too wide. And if you know your feet slip on your mat and you're on a carpeted floor, go onto the carpet. <coughs> so from here, we're going to push into the hands and the feet, drive the bottom up nice and high. We're just holding this downward dog position to get a stretch in the back of the legs. It doesn't matter if your heels are lifted or even if your knees are slightly bent, but I want you to think about driving the heels down towards the floor, which will increase the stretch in the back of your legs. Nice deep breaths. And then bringing those knees down. Then we're just gonna go again, driving the hips up. Pushing those heels down, but also pressing to your hands to push yourself backwards more. 
and that will help to lengthen in your back and push those feet down. Let the head drop and come back down. We'll do two more of these, just hold into that nice long stretch, driving up. Hopefully you should be feeling those heels getting a little bit closer to the floor. Doesn't matter if there's no change, as long as you can feel that stretch. And back down to your last one of these. Pushing up. Nice and high, get those heels down, push into the hands, stretching those legs. And come down. Stretch yourself back, reach those arms out in front. And holding that stretch, bring your arms beside you and just roll through those wrists. Good, then we're going to go into our planks. So if you joined in yesterday, we did the plank challenge where you went from low arms to try and lift yourself up onto high arms. So today we're going to start on high arms and try and lower ourselves down onto low arms. I'll show you and then we'll get going. <clears throat> if you really suffer from sore wrists, just hold the plank on those low arms. Um, but you're not going to be on the long arms for very long, so you might find that you're okay to do that transition. So, hands are towards the front of your mat. As normal, we're going to step one foot back, taking the weight into those toes. The other leg joins it. Find that nice, strong height position. From here, you're going to bring one arm down, the other arm down, make sure that bottom is tucked under, then lower the knees down. So when you first come down onto your forearms, your bottom will still be quite high. I'll show you again. So from long arms, one foot back, then the other, strong plank. So you'll take one arm down, then the other. If you look now, my bottom is quite high. You need to come into this long position, then you can bring those knees down. So making sure you're taking nice deep breaths. The whole way through. So don't hold your breath at any point. Try and keep it nice and controlled. Try not to thud down. I know it's hard. But just think, take your time. There's no rush there. You've got that other arm to support you. It should feel a little easier than trying to go from low back up to high. We're squeezing that bottom. Pulling the tummy in. Remember those nice deep breaths. Stepping back. Stepping back, strong plank, lower down, lower down, long, strong plank, and down. We're going to do two more. Step back, step back, strong plank. Lower, lower, strong plank, and down. One more here. Step back, step back, strong plank. Lower down, lower down, strong plank. Knees are down. Relax there. Roll through those wrists. We're going to do some stretches to finish off. To allow our back to stretch in the legs. So from here, we're going to hug one knee into the chest, you're holding onto the front of the shin, your other leg is going to reach along the mat, doesn't matter if it needs to stay bent 
but have it in contact with the floor so it's fully relaxed. Stay nice and relaxed through the shoulders and just make sure that breathing is under control. Doesn't matter the position of your back here. Just lowering that heart rate from the planks. Nice and controlled. Then take your hands onto the back of the thigh. So you're behind the knee here. You're going to lengthen that leg up towards the ceiling. Doesn't matter if there's a bend in the knee. I'm quite stiff today, so there's a slight relax through my leg. <clears throat> Relaxing the upper body, having that stretch. Still keep a feeling of pulling in if you can. And that's just going to help to stretch the back of your leg. From here, if you can, take this hand up a bit higher. I don't mind too if you want to lift the shoulders off and then flex that foot. Though your shoulders are lifted, they shouldn't be by your ears. They'll just be off of the floor. Breathe. And relax that leg down. Reach that leg out nice and long. Hugging the other leg in towards you. Hands are on your shin. Shoulders are down. The leg that's long is on the floor. And it's relaxed. Nice deep breaths. from there you're coming behind the leg on the back of the thigh and folding the knee doesn't matter there's a slight bend here try and have that sense of pulling the leg in towards you bring those hands a little higher you can lift the shoulders away from the floor here flexing that foot just holding. If you're lifted, make sure you've got that chin to chest position. Shoulders are down and away from the ears. We're relaxing there. Take that leg up nice and long. Come into a full body stretch and shape those legs out. And your class is done. We'll come to kneeling, just take a little stretch out. So we're gonna roll those shoulders back. Nice big circles. And forwards. Good, from there we're gonna bring those arms out nice and long either side. We're going to lift one arm up, then we're reaching over. And back to the centre, we're going to lift and reach up, and then over. One more time on each side, we're lifting up and over. Lifting up and over. And relaxing there. So that's the end of another week of Pilates and another week in lockdown. Um, so I think we've done four weeks worth of classes and I'm really appreciative of everyone who's been watching, sharing, commenting, sending me messages. It's really nice to see so many of you still joining in um, and keeping me company. It's very strange to do the classes on my own in my garage. Um, but I wanted to thank everybody for their support. Don't forget to drop me a comment below, like and share the video, let me know how you're finding it. And please let me know if there's anything that you want me to include in the sessions and I will try my best to get it in there. I hope you all have a lovely day and a lovely weekend and I'll see you all on Monday. Thank you. Bye.